What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lake Life Fishing. Today, we're just doing a little bit of tulipy fishing. Not too fancy, nothing too extreme, just sitting in one spot fishing for some nice silver tulipy. That is the main target for today. We're going to see if we can't catch anything. They hear they're in this spot. I actually was here just a few days ago and they were just roaming around this little area. Caught a few of them. Thought I'd bring the cameras out, see if we can get a few of them on film for you. So, let's get to it. Well, we're in the fish house. I don't know how this camera angle is going to do. Um, I've never actually, well, I've only filmed once in my uh, flip over, and that was one of my first videos that I, when I restarted my channel. Now it's like the camera was right here, and it was just terrible. Terrible audio. Everything was just banging and clanking. I don't know how the audio is going to be this time. I got actually, I have an actual stand this time for the camera, and uh, it's not windy up today, really. Drop this down. We got fish down there, as expected. I didn't expect there to be uh, some uh, tulipy down there. Let's see if we can't catch us one of them. Forgot the name of this jig here. Uh, pretty sure it's from. Pretty sure this jig is from Clam. I'm not completely sure. Um, but then the plastic on there is a black uh, micro nuggy, and that's by a Little Adam. That's a, I caught these two will be on. Last time I was out here fishing for them. Ooh, we got a bunch of them down there now. Too high. A little too high. Alright, we got some fish down there. It's coming up slowly. Surely, but slowly. Gosh dang it, this camera. It's getting a little bit windier out. Tricked me. Tricked me. Alright, he's coming up still. There we go. Ah, no! Dang it! Can you get him to come back? No, I can't get him to come back. Well, the first one on. Seems to be a theme for me. I don't think I'm setting the hook hard enough. I need to really set the hook into him. It's kind of just a pull. That's my fault. It's on me. He's moving up on it. He's moving up. There we go. I always like to go for the higher ones. That one was about 15 feet down. Ooh, yeah. Good one, too. Oh, pops out. Right there. Come on. Right there is what we're going for today. Tulabies. I'll just stack down there swimming through and see if we can get another one. Nice fish. They smell really bad though. Unfortunately, I'm grabbing them with both hands. Let's get them back down there and try to catch another one. What are you doing, buddy? Got a few more down there. That was just on that plastic. Green jig head. Nothing too fancy, just very simple. Let's see if we can't catch another one for us. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's looking at it. We have three down there. Pull 
four. Go smack dab in the middle of these two. Now oh, here comes one. That was a bite. That was a bite. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can tell me. That was not a bite. That was definitely a bite. I saw the tap. Felt the tap. Executed the hook set. Didn't hook in. There we go. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. Because I should not be losing these fish that much. Twice now. I'm either reeling too hard. I shouldn't be cranking on them, actually. I'm ripping the hook out of their mouth. There we go. <clears throat> All right, we're just gonna reel up nice and slow. All the times that I've lost them, I think I was powerhousing them too much. Ooh, yeah, he's pulling good at the bottom of the hole. Do not come off. Oh yeah, <clears throat> that's a nice one. Another little beauty of a white fish. Pretty little guy. That hook's right there in the top of his mouth. Exactly where we want it to be. You know, not huge, but you know, I'll take him. Pretty good fish. I'm gonna try to lip him. I guess you can lip him. That doesn't work. That was a bit rougher of a release. They really don't have any teeth for you to hang on to. They're just like grabbing a slug in their mouth. Second fish of the day. Perfect, that's all I wanted. For the second fish. But now, since we caught a second fish, now we have to go try to get a third fish. We have to. And we got one big red mark down there. We're gonna try to get him to do the exact same thing that the last one did. There we go. Just the lightest bite. It's not even really a bite, it's literally just the tiniest little amount of pressure on your rod. There we go. Another nice one. Uh, he is actually the This is about actually probably the smallest of the day. I don't think he likes us. Again, right in the top of the mouth. They are very pretty fish. Nice and silver. Very pretty. Big eyes. Put them back in the water. All right, that's number three. Can we get four? Can we get four? That was the bite. Okay, please do not come off. Please do not come off. This is the fourth fish. This is what I've been waiting for. Man, they pull so good at the bottom of the hole. Oh no, he's wrapped the transducer. Oh! He popped off the hook. Ooh! I got him. I got him. 
the fourth fish right there of the day. Nice little toothy. Jeez. These things sound terrible. They're cool fish. They sound absolutely horrible. I do not like that at all. Beautiful fish though. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. They are very pretty. These are one of my favorite fish to catch through the ice. They're harder to catch, but when you find them, they're super fun to catch for me. So I love these fish. Let's release them. There he goes. Back down to the depths. You know what I'm going to say. Can we get a fifth? Can we get a fifth fish? I think we can. I think we can. So happy that hook didn't pop out. You know, I guess beneath the ice, that would have really sucked. I think it took some work to get in. We got him. All right. We're gonna get the last fish now. The next 10 to 15 minutes, we're gonna get the last fish of the day. The fifth one, number five. Number five, Tulabi. Number five. There we go. Number five. We did it. Got number five. Boom! That's how you do it. Well, got to get them out first. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Number five, white, white fish. Number five, tulabi. These things are so full of energy, man. There was three of them down there. I had gone for uh, the one beneath it. This guy showed up 15 feet down, raised it up to him. He came up, sniffed it twice, went back down, raised it up, came up, and just little settle, boop. And that's it right there. And they're just full of energy. Let's release them so he can go back home. Oh my goodness. some release right there well there we go fifth one you know what we're gonna go for sixth. we could leave on a good note but uh there's still some fish down there and I'm feeling kind of tempted I'm feeling good is what I'm trying to say I'm feeling good what's probably happening right now is I can see that tarps kind of hitting the camera so what's probably happening throughout this whole video is that it's just a constant thump on the camera unfortunately so that's going to be great audio we're done well we caught five tulabi it's a pretty good number i didn't expect to catch five tulabi today that's for sure i love fishing for tulabi they're so much super fun i have nothing really else to say about them except they're super fun they're really they smell really bad they have a very strong odor to them um, anything they touch. Both my hands smell like tulabi right now, but uh, let's start the pack up sequence now. five in total tulipy which i did not expect i would catch five but you know we were able to do it we were able to pull it off great day very relaxing day but it was quite warm out windy but i had the truck for a wind block had the heater going nice and warm in there that's rambling i don't know why i even said that but uh 
yeah, I had a great day out on the ice, and uh, hopefully we're getting towards the end of the year now. The ice is going to start melting, starting to get warmer, and uh, we're going to start getting into some open water fishing here in the next, you know, few months, hopefully. Uh, ice is going to start going off. We're not going to be able to drive in the lakes anymore, obviously, and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to that. I love ice fishing, but I'm ready to, ready to throw some uh, open water fishing lures and try to get on some nice bass bites and walleye and all that good stuff come summer and uh just looking forward to it so anyways thank you so much for watching this episode of lake life fishing i'll see you guys in the next one and remember to live the lake life peace